Okay, so this is part three of this video on how to prepare this gold specimen, and this is it. I started this last week by, first of all, we x-rayed where the gold was, which is right in the spot here where the black is. And then I used the rock splitter to split the rock with just a very gentle force. You can see that the rock cracked here, and what that did is that cracked the rock but it's still attached because of the gold holding it together. So it's a little bit loose, but what we want to do now is we want to remove some of this rock on this top side to start showing the gold. So I'm going to do that next with thermal shock. All right, so I'm going to use a oxyacetylene torch. This is just a regular welding torch. I'm using a number zero tip. It gives us a nice pinpoint heat. And we want the pinpoint heat to heat the rock up selectively. And the rock does pop off, so it's very important to wear glasses. I'm pinpointing all the heat above where the crack is. You can see that the rock will start to glow. And then when you drop it in water, cool it off, it removes some of that rock just because the melting temperature of gold and the melting temperature of rock are different and the rock fractures and the gold doesn't get affected. You can see here that the rock is fracturing away. up pretty good. This is where we know the gold is. You can see that the rock starts to fracture even more. Cool this off. And you can see that it leaves a nice white spot of quartz underneath. The top side cracked really, really well. see that a lot of that gold is coming off the top. Get it really nice and glowing. You can see that it's breaking out of right here where the crack is. Not seeing the gold pop through yet. start to see a little bit of gold showing up underneath. All right, it broke into two pieces. And so I'll check both of these. You can feel this piece of rock on the top is a little bit loose. It's being held together by gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and hit this with the water gun. You can start to see some gold showing up underneath in this spot here. Let's see what we got. All right, now that we have this rock and it broke into two separate pieces, we have this piece here, and you can see gold all through here. Oop, that just broke. Well, that just broke off, and now you can see that the gold is all fractured all throughout the whole specimen. It's not a straight line of gold that was all connected. So, this specimen is 
not one that was a good candidate to do this with even though we x-rayed it i can see now that this piece broke off that the gold is finely disseminated it's kind of a spider web of cracks all the way through everywhere it's not a straight line so i do have another piece that i know is a straight line of gold i'll do prep work on that one but this one really now that i've done the heat fracture and see how the gold is actually placed in this rock it's not worth actually doing anything more on it but i'm going to metal detect this and see what it sounds like of course we know there's gold in this one and this one we can see it the gold is actually quite finely interspersed and then i just broke this one in half as well and you can see both of these pieces have gold in them so so we now know that this piece was not a good candidate to do prep work on because the gold is in every different direction it would just fall apart anyway so sometimes you never know until you get into it but we do have four pieces of gold and quartz rock and these can actually be turned into cabochons so that's what we'll wind up doing with these